since then, mm-hmm. from miscarriage, stillbirth, genetically damaged children, I've written two papers. One, because the the ovaries and the placenta, uh, that does not have the immune system that the other cellular processes in the body do. All of our cellular processes have what's known as protein 53, a nuclear core complex, and if you are attacked by a radiation, they can react to protect the cellular structures. Uh, they don't always work, but they can. But the within the placenta, which absorbs 70% more radiation because it's wet and floating, uh, the 39 weeks of the baby growing, the baby does not have protein 53 or the nuclear core complex, and the brain is particularly susceptible, and the eggs which are born with the baby, the 400,000 eggs in the immature ovaries, they have no protection at all, Uh, and the main damage, there are lots of different the baby's being attacked on several fronts, several fronts. The brain, I have recently written a paper on, the uh, water that the baby is surrounded in and is inside the baby, I have now proven through a professor, I was waiting for his research, which is now proven, I wrote a paper which had recently been uh, translated into 84 languages in 100 countries proving the harm to the baby and I wrote an earlier paper for an 11 year old girl for a legal case in the United States in Oregon in Oregon um, so I concentrated on preventing the suffering of women from the brain the organs in the baby for the full 39 weeks for various stages to do with all the different frequencies to do with the cyclotronic and the circadian resonant frequencies and as the organs grow so the resonant frequencies then interfere with the growth of that and one of the facts I discovered with my paper which was co edited and I had it proofread by the people listed on the front, I can give you a copy today, I had it proofread by the people I listed on the front, my university mathematician and advanced physics lecturer, the lecturer of um, midwifery, a GP of 30 years who is an expert in microwave radiation as well, uh, a few other people. <clears throat> it has been thoroughly proofread and as I say that has been translated into 84 languages mm-hmm. and I can get you an electronic copy and a, a, a signed copy from me mm-hmm. saying it is authentic <clears throat> but I can prove that and if it is published by the World Health Organization Uh that two things the mitochondrial DNA in the womb inside the baby the mitochondrial DNA uh, a half of that per generation will be damaged. Now what that means is the maths is very simple, it's like a decay curve. If you damage the mitochondrial DNA, and I'll give you the good news first, is that in every single country, only one in eight children 
will be born alive or uh, with genetic damage or stillborn or, gene or miscarried. Only one in eight after three generations will be born alive. Seven will be damaged, either dead or damaged. Well, seven out of eight in three generations, and that's in 60 years, and that is government documents. They have kept it secret. As it happens, I kept the secret document, and I can give you a copy. But the bad news is the mitochondrial DNA is damaged and any biologist and doctor will know that is irreparable. Now, if a baby is born with genetic damage and this can be, and this is proven through epigenetics, a baby can develop cancer on the 15th day of pregnancy. The mother doesn't even know she's pregnant. She's not even missed her first period. 50 day of pregnancy, the baby through genetics can be born with cancer. But the bad news is that this is from the mitochondrial DNA and it is irreparable and is transferred mother, daughter, daughter, daughter along the female line until the female line stops. So as well as having only one in eight born, the, those that are born will have a genetic lineage of three gen of mother, daughter, daughter, daughter permanently until you stop that line. Mm -hmm. That is one of the harms. The other comes from the, uh, the damage to all of the organs over the 39 weeks of birth <laughs> and in a baby and this is provable there are 10,050 biological structures that can be harmed by the 600 pulse frequencies that can damage those 10,050 structures. Uh, the, the babies don't have, a, don't have a chance. And so I focused my research, I couldn't do everything to everybody, uh, I focused my research on the prevention of the suffering of women. And this is what Exeter University banned me for 30 years from studying, which only drove me to go even more. Um, did they 